So at this time, I will now hand the presentation over to Mr. DeJarvis Leonard. Mr. Leonard. Good morning, and thank you for joining us again for our July media briefing. We will follow the format that we have in the past, uh, giving you some information about the overall project and show you some new video um, area shots of the progress that has taken place in the last last month. And we'll answer, answer any questions that you have about the project. As you know, we are the full phase project. Phase one was the lengthening of the bridges at 31st Street and 12th Avenue, which is complete. And uh, phase two was the widening of bridges over 2nd, 3rd, and 4th Avenue on I-65, which is complete also. Phase two was the modification of the interchange at 5920 and I-65, which has been open almost a month, come next next month. It's complete also. And we're working on phase three and we're making progress. Contract is uh, working extremely hard uh, to move forward and finish by our deadline to have traffic back on the project, on the main line bridges by March. And the overall completion of the project, though, is not to November 2020. Phase three consists of the reconstruction of the CBD bridges through downtown Birmingham, the 5920 corridor, and the modification of the ramps at Red Mountain Expressway and 31st Street. As you see here, we're placing segments. The contractor is using about eight different locations that so he's actually erecting uh, segments. We are about at the midpoint, a little over past the midpoint. The contractor, these are numbers as of the first of this week, so he's making significant progress. The first heading is west of 16th Street. Second heading is west of 19th Street North. The third heading is east of 19th Street. And the fourth heading is also east of 19th Street. I'm turning the uh, area around. We're looking east now. Uh, you can see Heading four is just east of 19th Street, and heading five is east of 22nd Street, and heading six is uh, somewhat is east of 24th Street. And heading seven is over Caraway in that area, between Caraway and uh, 25th and in, in those areas. And then the eighth heading is what they're erecting over the railroad. This gives you another view of how the ramps all tie to the main line from Red Mountain Expressway. This is the ramp coming from Red Mountain Expressway north that would tie to the main line bridges. So you can see how it would tie at that location. This is the new ramp coming from 31st Street that would tie to that same ramp that would eventually tied to the uh, main line around the Sheraton. This is a new ramp that's coming from the main line bridges that would take you to 31st Street if you're traveling toward the airport. And these are the ramps that are in place, the 25th Street on and off ramps uh, that are on, that functioning as we speak. As we showed before, the cross-section of view of the uh, bridge consists of two segments in each direction with a closure pour. That's the basic width of the bridges. In the locations where we have ramps, you may have three segments with two closures. This is a view looking at the southbound and the northbound bridges, and these are closure pours 
that will take place between the two segments. This is a view of the closure pores, uh, the tra traverse closure pores that will take place. They're installing some of those as they erect the uh, structures. This is a view of the longitudinal closure pore that will take place between the two bridges, looking under, from underneath the bridges. Another view of the closure pore. They're actually starting to form these closure pores as we speak. So some of the first closure, longitudinal closure pores will be taking place uh, in the next uh, month. Another view of the forms for the closure pores, the longitudinal closure pores between the segments. As we talked about last time, the way they're erecting these is by using shoring towers or supports, and they'll place each segment in place, and then they'll post-tension those. This is a view of how they're setting the shoring towers. These are the shoring towers. Another view of the shoring towers. Getting all the shoring towers in place, and then they'll start setting the segments. And once they get all the segments in place, they'll make those traverse closure pores at this location and this location, but from the pier segments, between the pier segments and the segments between the spans, and then they'll post-tension each span with these tendons, which is a group of uh, strand <coughs> that go through the segments and that will actually support each span by post-tensioning them in, in each direction. This is a view of Spans that have been post tension are now carrying the loads uh, after the post tension. Another view of spans that have been complete, completed. And we're still on the countdown, seven months and 26 days. We want to be finished by March 22nd, 2020. That is when we want to have traffic back on the mainline bridges. That is the deadline that the contractor has to have all the uh, mainline bridges complete and have traffic functioning in its full capacity on the mainline bridges. However, the overall project uh, doesn't complete, it's not complete until November 2020. So for segments, there are about 50 percent complete, a little over 50 percent complete on the erection of the segments, but the overall project, they're about 70 percent complete to meet that November 2020, November the 1st, 2020 deadline. Uh, so the contract is moving forward. We're excited. Uh, uh, we feel that this will change the skyline of Birmingham, and we're excited to see this happen. Another part of this project is also the modification of the ramps at uh, Red Mountain Expressway. We're looking south on Red Mountain Expressway as another view of those ramps that I was showing you earlier. And they're constructing the conventional bridges that will tie to the main line. And then again, this is the ramp that comes from 31st Street. And this is the ramp that comes from, that's going northbound toward the, toward the airport. You exit off and get on the 31st Street exit and will carry you down to 31st Street. And this is another view of those uh, of the 25th Street on and off ramps. This is a view looking east of that same location. These are your 25th Street on and off ramps. This is the ramp coming from 31st Street to the mainline bridges. And this is the ramp coming from 31st, excuse me, Red Mountain Expressway North to the main line. And this is the ramp that will carry you from the main line bridges. This is the segmental construction, eastbound, part of 5920. It will tie to the new ramp that will exit to go to 31st Street.
again, we encourage you to be mindful of our workers who are out there. Uh, we want them to be safe. We encourage you to drive slow, pay attention, and be patient. Plan ahead, and do not be distracted when you're driving. And with that, we'll turn it back over to Kelly, and we will take questions. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Leonard. As a quick reminder, please uh, follow the project progress on our social media channels at on the website at 5920bridge.com, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and you can see those handles here. At this time, we're going to start taking questions. Again, if you have a question, please type it in the questions box on the lower right-hand side of the screen, and we'll answer them in the order that they're received. We already have uh, some popping in. So as a first question, is there any more information about the city walk plan for underneath the bridges? There is more information, and I apologize. We would hope to have that where we could uh, roll it out on this uh, briefing. We're very close. We have a couple of more meetings that need to take place before we can roll the actual concept out, but that should happen and it will happen before the next meeting, uh, and we'll be giving you more information on that because there, there'll be some advertisement about some possible other meetings that will take place uh, prior to the next briefing, or, or shortly around the same time of the next briefing. Okay, it looks like that's our only question. So, Mr. Leonard, is there anything else you want to add before we conclude today's call? Again, we want to thank motorists for being patient with us as we continue to improve the infrastructure in downtown Birmingham. Uh, we realize that it's an inconvenience, inconvenience for you, but we just thank you for being patient with us. And also, we thank you for planning ahead and use an alternate route so, our de so the detours can continue to function in the uh, level of service that it is functioning currently. Okay, thank you, Mr. Leonard. As a reminder, we will post a recording of this presentation on the 5920 website at 5920bridge.com. The website contains all the most current information on the project, and we encourage you to utilize the website as a resource for closure announcements the media gallery for photos, and current content. If you have any questions following today's media briefing, please contact Linda Crockett. And if nothing else at this time, this will conclude today's meeting. Thanks again for everyone who joined.